welcome back to the powerhouse. If you've been here before, I'm sure you've seen my rooftop solar system, but there's one thing you haven't seen that I'm super excited about. I just finished it and I'm calling it the power shed. Let's go check it out. So we went from 36 360 watt sun power panels that are on my rooftop powering three power walls to one 100 watt panel that's on my shed that's powering everything inside of it. Come check it out. All right guys, so I'll give you a little rundown on the panel that we have set up here as it starts to rain. This is a 100 watt panel. The open circuit voltage on this panel is 22.8. It weighs about 15 pounds. A panel you could see, um, this is not what I would do on a residential install, but as I was saying, just cause this is my shed, have the screws right into here. I'm gonna come put some sealant on these. I put the PV wire, it's right now it's just wrapped around the roof um, and then it goes into the soffit. Like you never want PV wire laying on the roof like that because it'll eventually uh, wear the coating out on the wire and then short circuit. But as I was saying, this is just my little shed setup. I was only doing this for fun, for experimental purposes and uh, just to power some batteries um, up down below. Let's go check out what we got downstairs. All right guys, don't think it hasn't crossed my mind to actually put a real working power wall in a shed. I'm gonna do it. We're, we have uh, solar trailers that we don't use anymore that we used to use for uh, going to jobs uh, and building uh, residential solar systems. But we don't use trailers anymore, we use sprinter vans. And I'm definitely gonna put a power wall um, in that trailer with um, sun power panels on the top powering it. But this is a demo power wall. There's nothing inside of this one uh, it's just a shell. We use this at trade shows to uh, show what it looks like, how it works, um, just different things like that. This power wall is not powering my shed. What is powering my shed is the battery that I was able to fit in the back of the power wall. How cool is that? That's just a 12 volt battery that literally fits in there perfectly. That's insane, right? I couldn't believe it when uh, when I saw that. I kind of just put that in here for the sake of this video. I thought it was pretty cool that it fit in there. I mean, we can't say that this power wall doesn't have a battery in it. It does, it's just not a Tesla battery. So let me pull the battery out of the power wall and show you what uh, this little setup actually looks like because it's super simple. You could do this yourself. This took me like an hour to set up. I could have done a lot better job. I know that. I'm sure I'll get a bunch of comments destroying what I have set up here, but this was just for fun, just to see what's possible. All right, let me take this power wall off. As I was editing this video, I forgot to mention something. This YouTube channel is actually what was the inspiration for the shed build. So I'll leave a link to his channel below, but it's DIY Solar Power with Will Prowse. All right, signing out. Just wanted to give you that note later. So this is the setup. I'll start from the top. The PV wire off the solar panel comes in. It came with a fuse. So you could see there the fuse is on the positive. Both these PV wires came prefabricated, which is pretty cool. And uh, you could see all the extra slack there, but those come literally off the rooftop and go straight into the rich solar maximum power point tracker solar charge controller 20 amps. So those plug right into the bottom here. And then the battery right through here, you can see the extra slack that rich solar sent goes right into this battery. Now this battery I actually got from a buddy that has another solar company. So um, he needed some parts from me and uh, I traded him those parts and he gave me actually two of these 12 volt batteries. So I have a lot of solar panels at our warehouse that I could have used for this um, 400 watt, 360 watt uh, solar panels, but everything was a little too big. Um, uh, for this system. That's why I had to go with that 100 watt panel. So the only thing I did not buy here was the battery, which would pretty much be typical when ordering these systems offline. Probably get out of the battery, but most of the kits just came charge controller panel and accessories. Solar is coming in here, battery 
going straight down to the battery. Then I bought this. This is a Re Renogy Pure Sine Wave Inverter 12 volt DC. So this is converting, uh, this is an AC inverter. So basically what I have powering, uh, have that powering right now is I have this Ryobi battery, this Hilti battery, this little fridge. Check this out, isn't that sick? It's got a little LED light, ice cold in here, and this LED uh, light right here. And you can see the back of the power wall, that's where it sat right in there. So pretty cool to, to that it fit like that. And then I also installed this power strip right here. So you could plug everything, you can see. Those are the lights, everything right in there. You could shut it off from there. And uh, came with a Bluetooth as well. So you could look at it when you're in Bluetooth range to see what it's producing. Um, the Bluetooth is not working, so Rich Solar, hopefully they could send me another one of these, but I'm not gonna use the Bluetooth. I'm gonna keep the batteries charged. I'm not gonna be looking at it, but I definitely tried. I wanted to use it, but it didn't work out. This goes on the battery as well to make sure, I guess when the battery is too cold that it could shut the system down. So this really should be on the battery below and it's got enough cord, but I'm gonna take this entire system out of here in the winter or just the battery out of here because this isn't climate controlled. It'll probably ruin the battery if I kept it in here. I just wanted to show you guys this system. Uh, I believe this entire kit, this was $278. This Renogy sine wave inverter, uh, this is like the smallest of uh, the inverters that they have. They go, the thing was 700 watts, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, but I just wanted something small. And this is what I came from. I had this one before, which I got from Walmart, I believe it was. And this is a 750 watt inverter where you could just put these little clips on the battery and then it would do it that way. But literally I would plug in two batteries and this thing would trip out. So this is this was like, I don't even know, but it must've been like 20, $30. This thing was a little more than that. I think it was 180, if I'm not mistaken. I'll put the link below so you could check it out. But this is a much more quality piece. I showed you what I have charging off that thing right now and it hasn't skipped a beat. That's the system. Sorry for the clickbaity title, but it's true. I mean, I had a power wall in the garage with a battery in it that was powering this little shed. Uh, I'm gonna end the video here. Please like and subscribe to the channel if this is stuff that interests you. Please leave me comments below for any future videos that you guys are thinking that we should do. And there's gonna be some bonus footage after this. I set up this exact same system for my neighbor as well. He's a great guy, he always helps me out. So I wanted to, to just uh, show him some love. So I set this exact system up in his shed. Uh, we actually, on a Saturday, put both of these in together, my shed and his. So I'll end the video here, but if you wanna stick around to get a little tour of his shed as well, you could do that. So thanks so much for watching and uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Later guys. So guys, this is his shed right here. So we mounted his panel. His shed's a little bit of a different design, but it's cool to check out both of these. So there's his, his panel. It's on like a 45 degree tilt right there. So here's my neighbor, Mike. Mike, I just gave everyone a tour of my shed and I wanna show them the setup that we did in here. Sure. Can we pop it open? Yes, let's see. <laughs> I'm very happy with this. You have to go up first. So, I actually got the idea to mount this Renogy on the wall from Mike. I had mine laying on the ground and then I saw his, but Mike, you want to take us through it a little bit? Yes. Here we have uh, the battery. Oh, there it is right there. Yep. Which feeds the panel on the roof. And here we have the uh, remote. This remote, actually, if you don't want to do the on and off, or just you could have, you have the on which always powers it on you can just leave it on or you have the remote so you could have that like outside of the shed or somewhere else to, to power it on and off cool sorry mike that's okay this started off as uh just a conversation as over a couple drinks <laughs> i was gonna <laughs> dig a ditch run power to the shed and anthony said listen i've got this little system we wanted to try out it saved me a lot of time and energy a lot of digging <laughs> But uh, it works great. We always joke around because I got 36 panels on my house. So Mike's always like, let me grab an extension cord and plug into your house. But we, uh, we're going to get solar on his house soon enough. We just haven't gotten around to it yet. So I figured, let me show him how a shed works with solar power off grid. And then we'll take it from there. But 
He's got the same, same exact setup like I got, the Renogy AC inverter, the 20 amp uh, MPPT uh, charge controller, and there it is. There we go. There's that light powered off it right now. <laughs> I've seen the light. <laughs> and that's no LED light right there. That's a, a thing. This pulls. is an outdoor floodlight. Yeah. And I ran other things with it. And it saves me a lot of time. Cool. Uh, as soon as I put a new roof on the house, we're going for the solar panels. <laughs> cool, Mike. Thanks, Thanks for showing it to us. All right, guys. So you got a tour of my system. You got a tour of Mike's system. And uh, I'll leave the links below so you can check them out. Later, guys.